Next up, we have got Polly Outram um, presenting Minutes Matter, the case of the empty red box, improving documentation and teamwork in an oncological emergency. So Polly, I will hand over to you. Thank you. Can you hear me? We can. Great. OK, so hello, I'm Polly. I am a paediatric registrar and I was working at Hillingdon Hospital when I undertook this project. So children having treatment for cancer are extremely vulnerable to infection and it's a national gold standard that if a child who's being treated for cancer has a temperature or is unwell, they get antibiotics within an hour. We know that children still die of infection when they're being treated for cancer and evidence shows these early antibiotics can prevent deaths. So at Hillingdon I looked into how we were doing and we still have a completely paper-based system at Hillingdon which has a lot of difficulties with it. But we do have a beautiful pro forma which is designed by a doctor and it's got a big red box that says time antibiotics administered on it. So I went through to see how we were doing and what did I find? A lot of empty red boxes. So this incredibly important information was just missing and when minutes matter how would we know that we were actually keeping children safe? So I started by speaking with a family whose child has cancer and regularly comes into Hilton just to understand how this is affecting them. And it was really interesting because actually their experience during daytime hours when they go to daycare and get seen by the cancer doctors and the specialist nurse was completely different to out of hours when they go straight to the ward and are seen by the on-call doctor. And that was reflected in the data. It was much better documentation from daycare than from on the ward. So that helped me to know where to look next. So being a doctor, I did what most doctors do, and I went and spoke to the other doctors first. And I collected a lot of information. There were definitely some knowledge gaps, but one of the things that became clear was that often at night or out of hours, you go, you prescribe the antibiotics, you're called away before they are being given. So the doctors were saying, we can't document what time those antibiotics are going in. We're not there. We expected that the nurses would be doing it. So what was going wrong? So I had to just go and sit down with our, my lovely nursing colleagues and I did a high level process map with them so I could really understand from their side what was happening. And that was really, really interesting. There were various things that came up I was expecting, but the one I didn't expect was that they said, well, that pro forma, there are bits of it that are just for doctors. That is doctor's territory. We can write on the front page, we don't write anywhere else. So next slide, please. We did lots of brainstorming and lots of uh, um, education, but my main thing was I sat down with my nursing colleagues and let them completely redesign the pro forma as one of my PDSAs. And the outcome, as you can see, is that at the beginning, we only had four in 10 children with antibiotic time being documented, and by the end, it was more than eight in 10. So it was a really interesting learning um, experience for me. And my main findings were that it really involves so many more people than just the junior doctors when I sort of started out thinking and that by engaging the nurses and stakeholders, I hope we've come up with some solutions that might last long after I've left Hillingdon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Polly. I will hand over to Helen now for some questions. Uh, great. Thanks very much, Polly. So one of the questions I was going to ask you is, um, so, so tell us how you used your patient story. You, talk, you talked a little bit about how you to find out, but did you use your patient story in any other way when you were implementing the improvements you were trying to make with your project? Yeah, so it really framed the whole project for me because um, we know we have the very black and white indicators of timings and um, very sadly child death, but on the day to day, it's that experience for parents and their lack of, um, of confidence in what's happening in the ward. And so I, I use that sort of throughout. I used it when I was um, uh, uh, defining my aim and my measures, but also when I was thinking about change ideas. And um, one of the change ideas which didn't happen with due to a lack of time, but which I'd love to go back and do would be to actually involve the parents in, I mean, they are the biggest advocates for their children's health and involve them in t basically timing how good we are at this, because you know, if anyone's gonna do it really well, it's gonna be them. Um, and so with the family that I spoke to at the beginning, I have fed back my results, um, but ideally I would go back and, and, and extend the project even further and see if I could get them as stakeholders as well. It just technically was difficult during the time I was there. Great. And uh, uh, looking at your run chart, um, in light of you live in the land of the tyranny of small numbers by the looks of things, is there any other way that you could have presented your data that would have created more curiosity for you, do you think? Um, as, as opposed to the, the run chart? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I definitely could have used some infographics um, with sort of at the beginning, this many out of 10 children had documentation and at the end it was this many out of children, which I think if I was presenting to a sort of parent audience, I would try and do. Okay. 
I was wondering about days between when you when uh, the number that are done and then the days between the last time that you that somebody hadn't documented it as a possibility. Oh yeah, that was a really good idea. Yeah, so we see how long a run we get. Okay, so um, so you you've done this big project. If you were to do it all again, what would you do differently? Um, so I think I would be starting with a much wider viewpoint because I definitely started this thinking I'll do the audit I'll present to the doctors and that will fix it and actually going in with that even though I then widened my search I wonder if going in with just a, a wider mindset from the very start would have come up with some other change ideas um, so I think I would have done that and then and I think I would have pushed pushed harder for the some of the change ideas that involved the parents as well great thank you very much Polly thank you Thank you, Polly. Um, so we'll move on to our next presentation.